just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight for our little late night read. Okay, if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about your girl, it will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, let's go. So I pulled some messages through music, okay? The first one that came out was Mariah Carey, We Belong Together. So someone here feels like, Scorpio, you guys belong together. This could be how you're feeling about someone else, okay? You like, no matter what happened, like, she, this person feels like this love, this connection that you have is supposed to be, you know, going through the test of time. But they feel like no matter what obstacles and challenges come your way, that you guys are still meant to be but the issue is scorpio is that you hate the same person and i don't hate a strong word y'all check out this song i think i can't remember if this came out last time where i said something about this song in a reading last week okay because in the song she said if you wonder if i hate you i do okay silly of me what she say hold on should I go back and check it out? Okay, shitty of you to make me feel just like this. Okay, so you feel like it was very shitty of this person to make them feel the way that you did or the way that they did when you did nothing to give unconditional true love, genuine love, pure love to this person. You know what I'm saying? You feel like this person came with too many challenges, too many obstacles, they way too many folks, too many problems that this person had like it was way too hard for you to connect with this person for them to see things your way for like it was just way too much but i feel like now is it you, you don't walk away okay this person's loneliness is killing them okay but this person still believes and they feel like one day when they get that sign they gonna <laughs> they want you to hit them baby one more time so this person's loneliness it's killing them. And I feel like now that they're lonely, now that they've had some time to be by themselves, this could have been someone who surrounds themselves, you know, with many different men or women to try to fill some type of void in their life. It's like now spirit and kind of got this person to themselves so they can think, you know, a little clearly now, okay? So they can see clearer now that all the rain and, and, and the fire and the smoke is gone. It's like they realize that you guys belong together but it's like shit too little too late it's like once they finally realize that you guys were meant to be shit you really don't you ain't fucked up about this person like some of us we saying now we ain't fucked up about them but it's like when this person really finally comes to this realization like you're gonna be all the way not fucked up about this person and i feel like it's really this person's loneliness for some of you this person used to hit you when they were lonely like when they were lonely they would always reach out to you to to so dry your good ass energy because that's what you was giving out this person gonna hit you scorpio and be like scorpio i belong to you okay now they want to give all of their heart to you but shit, like i said they came with too many problems too many obstacles too many challenges it was just too much dealing with this person okay and you feel like he was shitty or that person to make you feel the way that they did when, like I said, you gave nothing but pure, genuine love to them. To them. Okay, so let's see what happened. Let's get into it. Let's pull some messages here. I'm going to shuffle through these right quick because these kind of fucked up and shuffle through. I'm going to try my best to shuffle these. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay. Look deep within your heart and you will find love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, okay? This is this person I'm telling you. They saying look deep within your heart, Scorpio. And they saying if you look deep within your heart, then you will feel my love. So some of you guys are like, I'm telling you, shit, some of you might you might hate this person. But I feel like they, they like, uh-uh, Scorpio, you just looking on that surface level. They talking about look deep, deep within your heart and you will feel my love. Because they saying, baby, they love for you run deep. It's the ocean, but I feel like you didn't get none of that ocean water <laughs> while you was dealing with them, okay? They was dry as the damn desert with your ass. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I'm going to pull out nowhere else I need to go to. Oh, Lord. Messages for my Scorpios. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? 
Beware of what you are projecting for the quantities. Hold on. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Some of you guys, this was your divine counterpart. You reflected, this person reflected onto you and some of the things that you needed to work on and you reflected to this person so the things that they needed to work on. I feel like there was a lot of projecting done in this connection, whether it came for you or them. I feel like there were some things that you admired about this person because, you know, you saw a piece of yourself within them, okay? But also, there were some things that you didn't like within this person because you also saw a piece of yourself within them as well. For some of you, it was like your divine counterpart really represented the things that you need to work on. So... We're dealing with your person. They made you question your worth, confidence, all this stuff. This is what this person let, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that was the things that you needed to work on. And you mirror back to this person the things that they needed to work on. Okay, we also have embrace. Okay, so I feel like, like I said, both of you guys possess similar qualities. I feel like this person operated in a more darker energy. Then you did, but it was like there were similarities. There were big differences, but there were also similarities. But I feel like there were some things within both of you guys that you reflected back to each other. Okay, so definitely soulmate, deep soulmate, twin flame connection. We have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yeah, I feel like this connection, like you were able to embrace each other at some point in time. It was like things that you were missing or you felt like that you were missing out of your life, this person kind of mirrored that to you. And then the things that this person was missing out of their life, you kind of mirrored that to them. And I feel like at that point when you were dealing with this person, they didn't see that shit, okay? The divine feminine is always ahead of the mass and they're, they're way ahead, you know what I'm saying? Being able to see and feel these things, even though if you're not aware of your gifts or what you're supposed to be doing, you still are very intuitive. Now this person here, they, they're going to find out or, or things are not going to be revealed or shown to this person to after the connection is over with then they're going to realize that you guys were meant to be okay but like i said the situation is it's just too much to happen in the past i feel like between you and this person you really did represent the missing piece like this person kind of was like the missing piece of your puzzle and vice versa it was kind of like right person wrong time situation you know it's the right person like, you were the right person for them. They were the right person for you. It just wasn't the right time for you and this person to come together. And that's the after part about this situation, you know? Because it was like, it, you know, like I said, how this how this connection with and, and the, the love that you gave to this person, like, you didn't get that back. And it's like, now this person, they realize that shit. It's like, they want to give it to you, but it's like, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that this person wants to give you everything that you deserve 10 years after the fact they were supposed to be giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a couple of more. I'm gonna pull a couple more and I'm gonna end this reading. I feel like both of you guys were codependent in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel like this codependency, I feel like, was only enhanced when you felt low self worth, like when you didn't feel worthy or you didn't know your words here, I feel like that's when these codependent energies came into play. So I feel like in a way, Scorpio, you were kind of codependent on on this person's energy, and they were codependent on yours. The only thing about it was that this person was draining you of your good energy, you know? This is more like a, a energy vampire. This is someone who was very self-absorbed. They were only interested in their own feelings, so they only cared about how people or how situations made them feel. They can never look at things from your point of view. They didn't give a damn about what they did and how they made you feel. And this is someone who was unable to empathize with other people. But I feel like when shit happened to them, they wanted everybody, you know, the whole community to come together and, and pray and bow heads and, you know, lift them up. But it was like when shit happened to other people, they were looking at them like, shit, you know, so what? Like, little nasty attitude. Let's get one more. Hmm. Okay, maybe two more. Sometimes it's easier to love you on the 5D. So this is someone who is not ready to communicate to you in the 3D. Even though these are things that they know, they feel like it's just easier to love you on the 5D because I feel like this person feels your energy and they know you ain't really effing with them, okay? 
I feel like some of you just came up early, okay? Forgive yourself. Accept what has happened between you and this person. I feel like this is someone who's going to also have to forgive themselves. I know a reading I did earlier, I talked about you guys forgiving yourself. But this is someone who's also going to have to practice forgiving themselves. And they're going to have to accept whatever happened between you and them, okay? Accept the fact that you do not want them anymore. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys, maybe you still want this person. But they're going to have to take this as a lesson learned as well. They're going to have to chop this up as a lesson learned, okay? All right, so let's get the signs. Let's see who is this reading about. I love you, Scorpio. We're going to get through, baby. We're going to get through. All right, we got Heavy Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini. We got Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Who is this reading about? We also have Heavy Pisces, Leo, and Aries. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.